Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. College football action going on. We just covered Michigan State. Looks like we're gonna cover Old Dominion, which was the bet of the night. I will keep you posted with the full results right here. But in this video, we got a great matchup here. Georgia versus Oregon, the defending champion Bulldogs against the Ducks. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. get the suez all right oregon on the road here well technically it's a neutral site they're playing in the mercedes-benz dome in atlanta <laughs> uh so practically a home game for georgia here even though it's not being played in athens uh line georgia minus 17 and a half early actions on the ducks though 74 percent of the money on oregon as of monday morning yo check it out so the money stays on the ducks and the books react to it 17 and a half down to 17 now we're down to 16 and a half here so let's cap this game if you subscribe to this channel you already know the first step we're running the numbers through the spreadsheet according to the model the line for this game should be georgia minus 13.39 so that's a solid three point lean on the Ducks. But like I said in the other videos, my model is using uh, analytics from last year right now. So numbers gotta be taken with a grain of salt. All right, let's break this matchup down. And it's funny, man, no matter how badly Bo Nix tries to escape the SEC, he transfers out, goes literally to the complete other side of the continental US to Oregon. Week one, still has to play the Bulldogs. That's just some poetic justice. In all honesty, I think it's safe to say that I don't think there's any other quarterback in college football right now that I've personally lost more bets on than Bo Nix. I mean, every time I backed Auburn, he would suck. And then I would finally say, screw it, I'm fading him. And then he would finally have a good game. I don't trust Bo Nix, I don't like him. So what about the rest of the Oregon team? Uh, I think the best word to describe it would just be new. Uh, Mario Cristobal apparently turns down an extension with Oregon, uh, goes to Miami, takes a job with the Hurricanes. Obviously, both coordinators that he had uh, that he had last year are gone as well. The Ducks made an interesting hire a head coach. I like it, and it's especially significant for this game because they hired Dan Lanning, who was a defensive coordinator for Georgia last year. And obviously, he did a great job last year. Georgia had the best defense in the country. Um, and if I'm the Bulldogs, if there's one person I don't want on the other sideline calling plays against me right now, it's, wouldn't it be Dan Lanning? And to top it off, I like Oregon's defense this year. They're just 58th in returning production on the defensive side. But Mr. Lanning in charge should definitely give the defense a quick boost. Uh, but honestly, the part, the piece of the Oregon team that I like the best is their offensive line. Phil Steele has the Oregon Ducks offensive line ranked fifth in the entire country. In fact, if you go by power rankings, this will be the toughest offensive line Georgia sees the entire regular season. Actually, as it stands right now, the Oregon Ducks have four offensive linemen out of their five that are projected to be draft picks in next year's NFL draft. This offensive line is dumb good. And yo, if they're able to establish some sort of run game against Georgia, give Bo Nick some opportunities out of play action yo i think oregon can play georgia tough even though this game's all the way in atlanta now to be fair i also have to mention some of georgia's strengths and yeah there's several uh remember i said oregon's rank was ranked number five on some offensive line georgia's ranked number two so yeah they're right up there too we already know what we're gonna see dan landing is gonna sell out that duck defense to stop the georgia run game uh, which should give stetson ben uh, stetson bennett sorry plenty of opportunities to go over the top um, if he's halfway decent, Georgia should win this game. All in all, in my opinion, this is just too many points. At 17 and a half, it was way too many. It's down to 16 and a half, so I don't like it as much. But I'm on the Ducks here. Um, I'm siding with all the money. I think everyone's got it right here. I'm siding with the public. It probably will make the VIP ticket, but it's gonna be borderline. If it makes it, it'll be just a half unit. Nothing crazy on this one. If anything changes with this pick, I will definitely let you know on Twitter and my Instagram story too. I'll use the Instagram too. Uh, so give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, if you want my bet of the day, top seven bets, parlays of the day, uh, underdog of the day, I do all that. That'll be on the Sauce Network app or kylekerms.com. So if you're interested in that stuff, be sure to check it out. College football Saturday, baby. Week one, let's lay some bets. Let's reel in some units. Let's make some money and have a great day.